So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and just before the release of Revelations as I make this video, the achievements have just gone live on Xbox Live for some reason. So here we have a total of 9 brand new achievements, let's not waste any time, let's get straight into them. The first one is Pack-A-Punch Ectomy. In Revelations, recover the Pack-A-Punch machine from its abductor. We know from the trailers, there is a massive apothecan gateworm thing that seems to suck the Pack-A-Punch in from one certain location. So that would be very interesting to see how exactly we go about recovering it and potentially destroying that thing to get the Pack-A-Punch back. The next one is Keep Close. In Revelations, assist the Keeper in defeating every type of enemy. We've seen a lot of zombies within the trailers from Shadows of Evil style zombies. There's bound to be some brand new uh, types of zombies as well that we've seen in the other trailer, which will be interesting to see how many different enemies there are in total. The next one is Death Ray. In Revelations, kill 40 enemies with a single activation of a corruption turret. Now we have absolutely no idea what this is, but there seems to be a uh, relation of corrupt items within the world of revelations that we are able to use, and I'll mention that a little bit more briefly as we get further into the achievements. The next one is the Grand Tour. In Revelations, visit every unique location within two minutes. Now hopefully what they mean by unique location is they're meaning all the different maps that we're seeing parts of, which will be so, so cool for us to see what that actually looks like and plays like when we get our hands on the map very very shortly the next uh, achievement here is wardrobe change in revelations wear three different hats now this is really cool and I think this might go hand in hand with the, how the setup was on Gorad Krovi where we could unlock certain helmets which affected and made us stronger in certain ways dealing with certain enemies. So we know there's a total of three different hats and it's going to be interesting to see what effects those have. Wonderful. In Revelations, kill 10 enemies in one shot with each wonder weapon. Now this is where we're getting really excited because it says each wonder weapon. That means multiple wonder weapons, not just the Apothecan Servant, but potentially also the staffs as well. We'll know in a few hours time what this achievement really means, but the idea that we already have multiple wonder weapons is fantastic. The next achievement is Controlled Chaos. In Revelations, override all of the corruption engines before round 6. Now reading this, to me it sounds a little bit like the generator stations from Origins where they power certain things around the map and we need to override and cleanse all of those by round 6. Now that's not guaranteed if that's what these are, we'll know very shortly what these are, but I'm just informing of you now. And this is where we get to the two secret achievements, which is just so amazing to hear. The first one is, for the good of all, in Revelations, the key must be opened. We know exactly what that means, the summoning key. Why must it be opened? We aren't quite sure yet, but it sounds like this could be possibly one of two Easter egg uh, achievements, that being the first step, just like in Moon. And the second one is A Better Tomorrow. In Revelations, complete the cycle. Oh my goodness. I'm getting some real Mob of the Dead style vibes here, boys. I've been thinking for a long time, and there's been evidence in the game that we've been on countless amounts of cycles trying to do all of the things that needed to be done to fix the universe and this looks like this cycle will be the, the the first time that it's going to be fully completed and that means we'll be possibly ending the game and ending the story with the sounds of that easter egg achievement my my spine is tingling with emotions right now i can't wait to dive into this there will be videos going live very shortly on the channel live streams as well link down below in the description let's get into this boys let's